everyone, I'm Jay Cohen, Editorial Director here at Beep Beep, and today we are with our friends at Room and Board making one of my favorite summer cocktails. It's a lemon thyme daiquiri. So many people think that a daiquiri has to be blended up with ice and full of strawberry and overly sweet, but that's not what it is. It is a classic cocktail that uses white rum, citrus juice, and a sweetener, and that's it. It's simple, it's refreshing. It's like everything you want on a hot day. So here's everything you're gonna need. We have our Winthrop cocktail shaker, our Hemingway muddler. We have some of these gorgeous Opus tumblers over Cory coasters. We have these Everly bowls that are holding some of the ingredients for a simple syrup we're about to make. All of the simple syrup is, is a mixture of sugar and water in equal parts. A rich simple syrup is a term if you have more sugar, but we're not gonna do that today. Um, and I'm just going to infuse it with lemon zest and thyme leaves. You could do this with, honestly, anything you had on hand. You could add cinnamon sticks, you could add different citrus zests, you could add lavender flowers, honestly, whatever you want to really infuse and add some like beautiful flavor to your simple syrup. So you're really just looking for the syrup to be clear. That's how you know all the sugar is dissolved. I'm just gonna pull this off the heat and let it cool. This is not only going to help you not melt your cocktail because adding boiling syrup into an ice-filled cocktail is just a recipe for disaster, but it's also gonna give some more time for all these flavors to infuse. And now we're just going to have it and juice it. The best part about this recipe is you can truly customize it to whatever flavors you love. You could use Meyer lemon. I love it in the summer, but it's great also in the winter using winter citrus like blood orange or grapefruit. Our syrup is cooled, let's strain it. Again, I always cool it with the zest and the thyme leaves because that allows more flavor. Squeeze out every last drop. Perfect. When I'm making simple syrup, I'm never gonna do just like a little bit. I wanna make enough that I can now make a few cocktails with this. I wanna have enough on hand that I can kind of customize to whatever group of people I have coming. So this is enough, let's see, half cup, half cup. I'm doing a lot of like math in my head really quickly. You'll be able to do four cocktails with this amount of syrup. Um, if you want more, double it. It's super easy. It's half cup sugar, half cup water, if you wanna make that. Three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup, one cup, one cup, just keep them equal and infuse them with more flavors. Got my Harlington apron on, look nice and chic, ready to build the cocktail. Um, so if you've never used a jigger before, this is your friend. Cocktail recipes are not in your typical tablespoon measurements. They go by liquid ounces. So a jigger like this is how you measure that. This is one ounce and this is half an ounce. Um, technically, you can use tablespoons. One ounce is two tablespoons, so you can just do the math at home. We're gonna start out by muddling some thyme and lemon juice using our Hemingway muddler in our Winthrop cocktail shaker. So I'm going to add one and a half ounces of lemon juice and two sprigs of thyme. What we're doing here is we are bruising the leaves, releasing the essential oils, infusing into the lemon juice. And now I'm going to add in our cooled syrup, another one and a half ounces. And then finally, the star of the show, some white rum. We're gonna do three ounces. So that is our ratio. One and a half ounces citrus juice, one and a half ounces simple syrup, and three ounces of rum. Fill it up with ice. I got this nice and cold. We take the top. Want to make sure it's on nice and tight. And now we take it up. All right. We are looking good. You take it. You got to give it a little hit. That's how you release the seal. And we have our daiquiri all ready. I'm going to throw it into our Opus tumbler. Fill it up with some ice. I'll give it a little warning. Traditionally, daiquiris shaken with ice and then served up without ice. That being said, it's a hot day in summer, so I have no issue serving a cold drink over more ice to make sure that I am refreshed and cooled down. Some lemon wheels for garnish. Just gonna use a little cocktail strainer, throw it in the glass, and then we are going to strain right over. Last touch is a little thyme spray we picked from our garden, right on top. 
While it'd be pretty sad for me to drink both of these daiquiris by myself, we will bring in our resident cocktail expert here at Feed Feed, Sahara, our community manager. Here she is. Are you ready? Yes, please. <laughs> Should we give it a taste and yes, kind of beat please. the heat? It's a really hot summer day. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. That's pretty refreshing. These go down like very easily, like dangerously easily. Very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so like the perfect balance of tart and sweet. Sahara mm -hmm. used the term like, what'd you say? Puckering. Puckering, my new favorite word for a cocktail. <laughs> it's puckering, it's refreshing, mm -hmm. it's a daiquiri. Uh, thank you so much for Room and Board for giving us all the tools we need to beat the summer heat with a delicious cocktail. If you want the recipe, you can head to thefeedfeed.com and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.